Hello anybody, I am Alpaca Patrol and this is FTL Faster Than Light. That's right, I'm back with some more FTL Faster Than Light. And today, we are going to jump in again as the Slug Cruiser. And the reason why is apparently I was using the ship completely wrong. Uh, someone wants me to try to unlock the Rock Type B. I agree, I would love to do that. However, I'm going to jump in as the Rock Cruiser again because apparently what you're supposed to do here is we're just supposed to go bio beam all day. And you know what? I will agree with you guys. I think I was using the ship wrong, so let's try to do it. Let's uh, let's see if we can't do this. We're gonna go bio beam breach bomb. That's that's how we're going. Uh, there's a store right off the bat. We don't really want to jump to that, but we do want to go to the nebula sector. So hmm, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go here though. I, we're gonna we're gonna miss out on one nebula beacon, but that's fine. Uh, and uh, we'll jump in. Okay, this is pretty unlucky to be honest with you, but it's fine. Uh, wow, bio beam actually goes quite a ways. Uh, one of our engines are down for some reason, that sucks. Um, but I will take this moment while we're waiting for their shields to go down. Uh, to mention a couple administrative notes. One thing, a big thank you to a fish, uh, of bread, because he just gifted me XCOM Enemy Unknown. So expect that in the near future. And also he's, he, fr he gifted me, uh, the freaking, uh, Dishonored. Which, I, I you know, I, that is just... <laughs> That's a lot of money uh, that, that he just gifted me. Um, we are going to go ahead and get the old uh, breach bomb up here. This is not looking good. I mean, you know, uh, the whole... Um, the deal right now with the uh, extra... With our weapons down, uh, things are not looking good. So we're going to use the dual laser for right now just to make sure that we can take out there. Oh, and I'm an idiot. Uh, sorry for being an idiot because I was trying to talk you know, shop. Uh, basically, okay, so now we can switch off the dual laser. Actually, we could keep the dual laser on and uh, and fire it at their shields um, and uh, get the anti-bio beam when we need to. But um, basically, uh, I just wanted to say thank you because that is awesome. I'm not saying that, that that's what you need to do to get a shout out, but I mean, pretty ballin' stuff there. Okay, so let's let's keep trying to kill their, uh, their crew members uh, as much as possible. Uh, apparently you're supposed to go breach bombs more, uh, and that's understandable. I will try to do that. Oh, we killed one of their crew members. Actually, let's turn off the dual laser for right now and try to hit him with the anti-bio beam. Let's make sure that we're hitting him. Uh, he's not quite dead, so we're gonna hit him. We're gonna hit him again, and hopefully that kills him. No, no such luck. That's fine. We're just gonna hit him again with the uh, anti-bio beam, and we're gonna try to kill him with the anti-bio beam because he's not getting to a med bay anytime soon. Uh, so we should get some extra scrap from this. His shields are coming back online, which is kind of shitty. Um, and he's dead. Oh, with the pirate ship disabled. Oh, I guess I guess we just killed every crew member. Okay, I get the idea now a little bit. Anyway, so big thanks to him. You don't <laughs> that that is way far and beyond what. I, I just, I don't, I, I, I'm not expecting or wanting any gifts like that. That is just, just craziness, though. I mean, like, I, I had I had to mention it. Um, anyway, we are going to get a breach bomb going at their weapons to make sure that these go down, because this could hurt uh, this whole this whole fight right now, especially now that we have a hull breach. But um, our extra, um, our extra uh, slug preventative gel should deal with that. Now, second administrative note that I want to mention. Uh, a lot of you guys are probably not seeing my videos. Now, there's a reason for this. Uh, YouTube's new deal with doing things is, uh, is really screwing the pooch, uh, on, on stuff. And, uh, it, it, it's, it's really, um, it's really, you know, messing things up. And, uh, we definitely don't want that to happen. Basically, I always post an FTL video. Every day, every day I will post one FTL video and one, well, okay, we're gonna use one breach bomb to kill him. Um, oh, it does only system damage. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, but anyway. Um, yeah, so, uh, so always check the channel because YouTube is gonna fuck it up, basically. Oh, I wanna kill them. We're gonna kill them. I, we're gonna take some fire damage. Wherever it may be, I'm not sure. Uh, and uh, let's... God, I, I want to try to find it. Okay, it's in the oxygen room. That's a big deal. We're going to need to deal with that. Yeah, seriously. Okay, so let's... You know what? We're going to roll the dice and hope this isn't a fight. Because if it's a fight, then we're going to be in trouble. Uh, no, okay. Luckily, it's not a fight. So we could get these guys in here to try to deal with this fire. Because we can't take down the oxygen, or we can't, like, remove the oxygen from this room. Because, uh, otherwise then we wouldn't be able to get our oxygen back. So, anyway. Like I was saying, um, 
you kind of just have to check the channel. YouTube is messing up. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, it, it's it's hiding things in the sub box. You have to go off of highlights only, or just go on just straight on the channel. Uh, you know, I'm sorry about that. I don't I don't know if there's anything that I could really do about it, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, you know, that's just that's just how YouTube's working right now. Uh, and, uh, you know, I would like to deal with that in the future, but definitely always check the channel. I do, uh, make two videos a day, no matter what, uh, at the very least I make one video a day. So, you know, uh, always, always check the channel. Uh, okay, let's intervene and defend the outpost. We can't really use our bio bombs here, uh, which kind of sucks. So we're going to have to use our breach bomb on their shields and we're going to use the dual laser on their weapons. Um... And we're doing that primarily so that we don't have to worry about their shields. Uh, and also we want to take down their weapons. Now they can't hit us, so we're pretty good. Uh, we didn't miss with that breach bomb, which kind of sucks. Uh, but let's get the, uh, the dual laser firing at their, uh, at their shields right now to make sure those go down. Cool. Okay, their shields are now down. We can fire at their pilot room. And then we can worry about their weapons right afterwards. Uh, because right now they can't hit us, so... Okay, yeah. Of course, as soon as we fire at their pilot room, uh, we can't seem to hit them. But that's, you know, understandable. That's that's how the game rolls, I guess. No pun intended. Okay, so now we're gonna make sure we hit their weapons, because we don't want to deal with that small bomb at all, because it's gonna hurt uh, no matter what. Okay, now we can deal with their shields, because those are probably going to come online any moment now. Uh, but they shouldn't be able to repair it anytime soon, so uh, we're, we're pretty good. Yeah, okay, and uh, might as well just hit them in the pilot room, because we don't really have to worry about too much else. And, uh, you know, this is going, I guess, a little bit better. I, I, I suppose I, uh, I mean, I've only gotten to use the bio beam once, but, you know, uh, definitely working out a little bit better than it did last time, at least in the early sectors. Oh, God, we're getting pretty unlucky, I'll tell you, though, on the old uh, front of fighting things that, one, we want to fight, and uh, two, okay, we're going to get the breach bomb. Actually, we're going to get the breach bomb here uh, because I, I want to make sure their weapons are down. Yeah, we don't want to deal with their missiles because their missiles are going to hurt no matter what. Um, we want to make sure that stays down uh, more than anything. Okay, we're going to miss a lot of these breach bombs for some reason. Okay, and they're still going to fire a missile anyway. Well, there goes weapons, and there's a hole breach, but that's fine. Um, okay, we didn't actually need that last breach bomb, but that sucks. Uh, but there's nothing we can do about it. We'll let the, um, we'll, we'll get our slug crew member in there to deal with it. And we'll get the dual laser firing at their weapons now that their shields are down. And uh, we should succeed here anytime now, because I don't think they could really hit us. Uh, we are again in a place where they have level 2 piloting room, which I don't know how that happened, but, uh, you know, it works for us, I guess. Uh, because they just got hit in their engine system, and we definitely want to get Trico back in. Oh my god, we didn't name our ship! Okay, sorry. It's because I was thinking about things. Let's call this the... <laughs> you know, somebody somebody actually mentioned this, uh, and, and I think it's a good name. We're going to call this one the USS Scrote Boat. I'm sorry for not naming our ship. I forgot this time. Uh, let's destroy the... Okay, great. Didn't really work. Uh, that sucks. Let's uh, jump over here and see what happens. Hopefully we get uh, enough scrap to do something soon. Now let's aid the Federation ship. Okay, so now we have a chance to, um, we have a chance to use our anti-bio beam. Except they teleport it to us, so maybe we don't have really that much of a chance. We definitely want to fight him, because, um, fighting inside of the old, uh, yeah, maybe we should, yeah, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna switch off to the breach bomb right now so we can deal with their shields. And then the anti-bio beam is not yet ready, which kind of sucks. Uh, to be honest with you. But... Um... Okay, he's got low health, but what are we looking at health-wise? Trigo's below. Oh yeah, he's losing fast. Okay, but they pieced it. That's that's good. That's that's totally fine. Because then we can power down that, power up the med bay, get him healed up. We have to worry about our doors. I forgot about the anti-bio beam entirely. Sorry. Uh... No. Yeah, go that way. There we go. Cool. Okay, let's get the breach bomb going at their weapons so that we don't have to worry about this. Uh, we did kill one of their crew members, so that's good. Uh, and uh, we'll get the bio beam working this way and the breach bomb going over here. We are blowing a lot of missiles, though, I'll tell you that much. Uh, for a fact. That's fine. Okay, we did some damage to him and the anti-bio beam should kill him and then we should get some extra scrap, which is nice. Uh, 
did he piece it be just before that we did that? I think he did. Well, that's a shame. Um, so let's get the breach bomb going in there. Make sure that goes offline, and then we'll get the anti-bio beam going this way so that we can try to hit him. Uh, but I kind of want to make sure that we are hitting him indeed. Oh, I didn't... Shit. Well, he's dead now. Yep, okay. That's not exactly what I... I, I used way too many missiles there. Uh, and that was my fault, and I'm sorry. But that's part of the reason why I don't like the ship so much, because while the breach bombs are good, I guess, uh... You know, we'll repair for 20 scrap. Uh, because we can get two levels of shields, almost. Oh, we can. Okay, we can just straight up get two levels of shields. That works. I am cool with that. Um, but let's get everything repaired, and then, uh, and then we can jump on out of here. Probably to the next sector. Um, I don't think the Rebel Fleet is closing too fast. Yeah, we can still jump to a few more beacons. So that's good, at least. Um, cool. So now we have two levels of shields. And, uh, I mean, we're still kind of relying on the Breach Bomb, which also kind of sucks, but... You know, it's doable. I suppose I should actually stop using the Breach Bomb so much and use the dual lasers and try to micro a bit more because uh, we're running out of uh, scrap here. And uh, we definitely don't want to... Oh, God. Okay, another sun. All right, so we're going to get the dual laser. And they teleported as well, which is just fancy. Um, okay, so let's get a fight going. We're going to get the dual laser going there. The I don't think they can actually hit us with their weapons. However, the fires are going to be a big issue. Okay, shields are down, which is good. That's one damage. Uh, uh, well, here it comes. Is there any fire in any rooms? No. Okay, anti-bio beam is up, though. So let's, uh, let's get it working on these guys. Oh, he just dodged it. What a son of a bitch. Okay, that's fine, um, because we could get the anti-bio beam working. Okay, you know what? The anti-bio beam is actually doing good work. I definitely have to say that. Um, but we do have to worry about these fires, because they are probably throughout our ship right now. I can't tell where they are, though. Okay, there's some fires. Uh, looks like there are fires up there. Okay. Uh, okay, so there's there's a fire. We can deal with, with that. Uh, and is there a fire down here? Yes. Are there fires anywhere else? No. Okay, cool. So let's, uh, let's open up these doors. Uh, we, don't, we don't really have the crew, to be honest, uh, to deal with, um, uh, we don't have the crew to actually deal with, um, well, it looks like they still burned away, which is nice, uh, and then we could jump to the exit and get on out of here, I guess, uh, and hopefully all these fires are out, let's listen, let's investigate, yeah, communicate telepathically, Inform me of a nearby crash site, and we get a crew member. Cool. Uh, that works for me. And I think all of the uh, all of the stuff is dealt with. Trico could use a little bit of healing, and we could get uh, Zymar back on the or what's his name, Zeramar back on the uh, piloting, and get you in uh, weapons. Why not? I think is a good idea. Power up the dual laser and get ready to move here. Um, I can't really see that well, to be honest with you. Uh, pirate control... Uh, we do want to get to the nebula, but... I mean, we're not going to make it to 30 nebulas. Uh, so that's a shame. So, the question is, do we go... Let's go NG first. Let's, uh... Let's, let's go NG first and see what we can't do there. Uh... uh okay. It's all, it's all kind of working out, kinda. Uh, the issue, the big issue is we're low on missiles... Oh god, we keep jumping to fucking suns. Alright, so we're gonna get the anti-bio beam going, we're gonna get the dual laser going, because we just gotta take down their Zoltan shields. I don't know if fires actually uh, take out Zoltan shields entirely. Um, we're gonna prevent our ship. Some people have told me that that's not a good idea. I... oh, farts. This is a bad thing, though. This is a real bad thing. Where are the fires? The fires are in the door room. Okay, that's fine, because that should be dealt with here in just a moment. Okay, so now they have, uh, their, their Zoltan shields are down. We'll take down the bio beam for right now. We'll get our engines back online so that we can dodge and potentially get out of here. Um, and we can close these doors for right now. Okay, their shields are kind of down. Down enough for us to hit a bio beam this way. 
We missed one of them, but we killed another crew member, so it all kind of worked out there for a moment. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to prevent our ship once more because, again, uh, I don't really want to deal with all of the uh, potential dangers uh, that we could encounter from these fires. Okay, Ion Bomb, not doing much for us, or against us. They want to give us four fuel, four missiles, and scrap recovery arm. You know what? Scrap recovery arm is worth it. Uh, and the fire should be out any second now. Indeed it is. Okay, so now we can close all the doors and get our NG in there to repair. Yeah, he's going to take a little bit of damage, but that's fine. Because uh, we'll jump to this store really quick and, uh, and deal with it that way. And then we can heal everybody up because uh, we're taking lots of damage, certainly. Um... Sounds like there's still a fire somewhere. Let's let's find out where that is. Okay, so there are fires right there. Okay, so get you into the med bay, and then uh, we'll deal with that by venting oxygen because uh, we just we don't have the crew members to uh, to deal with that so much, really, right now. I mean, maybe we should get well. We should definitely get sensors. If they sell sensors, then we should get it. But I'm pretty sure that they actually don't have sensors, from what I remember from just glancing at that shop. Uh, which is a bit of a bummer, to be honest. So, let's see. Uh, no, they do have sensors. Okay, so definitely we're gonna pick up sensors. So now we can see at least our entire ship. We definitely want to upgrade our sensors so that we can see their entire ship. Um, and then, uh, you know, we're pretty good. I, I guess we should repair a bit. Uh, as much as possible, at least. Cool. Uh, I would like another crew member, but we don't have quite the cash to do so. But that's fine, not a big deal. We don't really need it right now. I mean, uh, now that we have sensors, we can see fires at least. At the very least, we have that. Okay, so they're going to teleport into us. Um, we're not going to be great on fighting because of the NG. But, um, at the very least, we may, uh, you know, have a little bit more luck. Okay, Biobeam is almost up. Sadly, it's been kind of hard to micromanage. Okay, see, there we go. Let's get you up. Well, looks like we can only get one. That's fine. Um, it's been a little bit hard. Oh, no, we definitely want to keep the dual laser up, don't we? Uh, and keep that going there. Biobeam did some good damage. Uh, we could let it do some more damage in just a moment. Uh, and then we could do this. Yeah, he's dead. And we got a whole beam. Ballin'. Uh, so we could go beam crazy in a moment if we upgrade all of that. Two damage in systemless rooms. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, however, it does pose some dangerous dilemmas. Uh, so let's go over here. Because the thing is, if we roll with two beams, uh, you know, uh, danger... Danger shall be afoot, because uh, we definitely need something to be able to take down their shields, and pretty soon these dual lasers are not really going to do much. Uh, yeah, let's accept two fuel, get a quest marker, uh, and uh, let's let's go ahead and jump towards that, I guess. Um, yeah, so we'll jump over here, then we'll jump up and uh, zigzag a bit, little bit, zig, zig, zig bad, zig it, zig it. Uh, so we're gonna, definitely going to power down the pyo beam, power up the breach bomb, get it on the shields, get the dual lasers going at their weapons. Uh, because the breach bomb should fire before the dual lasers, I think. Uh, but just to be sure. Okay, it actually didn't fire quite before. Doors are down, might as well get those online just in case we have to deal with fires. Uh, because we don't really want to deal with fires so much. Okay, so we did some extra damage, we could turn off the breach bomb and get the dual laser firing at their shields right now because they only have ion uh, weapons up and uh, you know that's not a big deal uh, to deal with actually you know we could even power up the old uh, could power up the whole beam and get that going uh, which does extra damage on systemless rooms so let's let's get that moving on over here do as much damage as we can and that should kill him yeah indeed it did okay cool that works out. I suppose uh, having the extra anti-ship drone, that's interesting. Um, having that extra opportunity is pretty nice, uh, definitely. So um, I am a fan of that. Okay. They're powering up their FTL. Okay, so that's an issue. Uh, it's definitely an issue. I, they may get away, to be honest with you. 
We're going to try to stop them. But the thing is, we have to take down their shields first. Um, now the question is, can we hit both of these guys? Yeah, I think so. Anti-bio beam work. Work, my friend. Thunderbar. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit them in the end. Actually, we're going to hit them. Eh. Oh, well, that's fine. Not a big deal. We get the anti-bio beam going in just a moment. We'll make sure that it's ready to go in the right place. Okay, their shields are up. Uh, second one missed. That's a whoa, and I got huge frame drop for some reason. Our weapons are down, however, so we're definitely gonna need the dual laser up if we're gonna do anything. We're gonna get this double. Yeah, they got away. There, there's not too much we could have done about that. We just don't have the kind of firing power to to you know take them out quickly. Because we have to deal with their shields at all times as well. So. Okay. Uh, they patch up our hole and let us see their wares. Reasonable. We could get the crew teleporter and potentially try to uh, board. <sighs> the question is, will we get that opportunity? Not really. We're not going to be able to see, like... Because the odds are we're not going to get... Oh, well, I can't see the full uh, beacon map, but we don't have many nebulas along the way, so the odds of us getting a slug cruiser are very slim, so I think I'm going to stay away from that for right now. Uh, I'm going to consider drone control, because I do have an anti-ship drone, or I could just sell it and sell the hull beam as well. Um, and I could just buy some more bombs and get ready for that. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to sell the anti-ship drone. I'm going to sell the whole beam, because we're trying to go anti-bio beam fully. Uh, and then we're going to try to get some repairs. Uh, no, we didn't need that fuel. We wanted the missiles, actually, but that's fine. Uh, not a big deal. We could upgrade our power a bit and upgrade that as well. So now we can get the breach bomb and the dual laser going at the same time, which is good. Requires a little bit more micro, certainly, but, um, you know, it's doable. Uh, we can see the enemy interior as well. You know what? We're going to do that, too. Uh, and the reason that we're doing that is because we want to uh, be able to see how much health uh, enemy ship uh, crew members have. Hull missile. Now that is interesting. Fires one missile, two damage, two damage in systemless rooms. That's certainly very interesting. Um, so we'll consider that as an option. I think we could jump to this beacon and still get to the exit in time. I think, I think we can make this. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Uh, fuel for drone parts? No, we don't want that. Yeah, we made it just in time. Uh, I mean, there was no reason to go to that actual uh, beacon, but, um, you know, it was, it was kind of worth the, the try, at least. We're getting pretty lucky as far as uh, things are concerned. Okay, we have an Uncharted Nebula, which I'm an idiot, because now there's a high chance that we're going to find slug cruisers here. Um, but that's fine, not a big deal. Uh, we, we, can, we can potentially deal with it. We definitely want to get to that store, but we're also going to try to jump around to different beacons so that we can... Uh, Ooh, excuse me. Oh my god, four intruders, really? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get into the med bay. We're going to power down the dual laser, power up the med bay, get everybody in there, and then we're just going to open up all the doors. Uh, now, people have told me, you know, don't open all the doors uh, because, you know, uh, okay, our engines are going to go, nope, they're not going to go down. They're going to come in here. Uh, now we're going to just go ahead and close all those doors, just because they're going to get in here any moment now, and I'd rather have the oxygen coming back. He's going to be a douche and try to deal with, uh, with our weapons room, which is very douchey of him. Uh, but he shouldn't exactly enjoy himself. Yeah, you can go right in. No, have fun. Go crazy, bro. Have a great time trying to get back in. Because you are not going to have a great time trying to get back in. You see that, that diss? That was a good diss, wasn't it? Uh, let's close these doors, and, uh, he suffocates to death, which is nice. We'll get our oxygen refilling, and, uh, you know, things are, things are looking brood. Brood. Things are looking brood. Um, we'll get Zeramar going over there. We could get, uh, everybody repairing a bit. Because all the oxygen should be back up, for right now, at least. Okay, um, reasonable. Very reasonable, uh, indeed. We're gonna go here and consider our options because we could sell this whole missile as well. Okay, luckily we don't have to deal with uh, borders, which would normally be an issue here. Uh, oh boy, we're gonna get the breach bomb going at their weapons as well. 
Uh, just, just because. Yeah, I don't want to deal with too many of these missiles, to be honest with you. Anti-bio beam's almost up. That's going to hit, okay, just two damage, but that's fine. We're going to take the breach, man, we're going to hit the breach bomb. Okay, we dealt with them. Okay, shields are down. Now, where are the enemy crew members? I can't see them. Okay, they're there. So let's try to get them. Okay, we get the dual lasers working on their shields again. Actually, we're going to get them on their weapon systems. Because uh, I think that's the best idea. We have the breach bomb ready if we need it. Okay, good. That's down. So we could hit him in the shields again. Uh, and we just have to hit him with the bio beam. And he's dead. Wonderful. Okay, all kind of worked out. We, only, we took minimal damage. And our, our uh, repair gel actually took care of that hull breach, which is nice. Certainly. Repair our engine systems. Fantastic. We love seeing that. Uh, and uh, let's get to that store. We I think we have enough for the teleporter, because I think it's only 75, but I could be totally wrong about that. Yeah, teleporter is 75. Okay, we're going to get it. Because... Not because I really want to teleport, but because there's a chance to get that, uh, to there's a chance to get that, uh, upgrade, or the, uh, the, you know, thang. One of them thangs. Uh, achievements. And we kind of want that to be able to, uh, get the type B. Because I kind of screwed the pooch on that last time. Okay, an ion storm is definitely dangerous. Let's leave. Because I don't want to deal with an Ion Storm at all. Now, you've chosen a pretty linear path, which is kind of shitty. Um, yeah, let's lock onto their life signs with a teleporter. And uh, we got a rock crew member. Cool. I will happily take a rock crew member. Uh, where can you go, however? I guess you could get you to the shields. Um, you're primarily... Your job is primarily going to be to... Um, Teleport probably, uh, and fight and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how we're gonna use our Rockman crew member in later parts of this sector. Okay, another Ion Storm is bad, real bad, and they have uh, only one levels of shield. So we're gonna get the dual laser and the breach bomb up instead. Uh, ugh. Although we kind of oh god, and the oxygen's offline too. Okay, we definitely need oxygen up. We're going to get that going there. We're going to get the dual laser going at their weapons because we don't want to deal with that. Do I hear fires? Oh, they have a fucking drone, too? All right, we're going to take lots of damage here, guys. A uh, whole lot of damage. Uh, damage that I don't want to take, but damage that is kind of going to be necessary to take. Good thing uh, is that um, because all of our systems are down, uh, we don't really have to concern ourselves too much with... Um, with repairing systems, it's not that big of a deal. We're going to miss twice with the Breach Bomb, which is just fantastic. We're just going to miss every shot as well, uh, which is going to prolong this fight and take force us to take lots more damage than we need to. Uh, breach Bomb is continually going on their shields, which is good. Um, we can get the Bio Beam going. Okay, it doesn't look like we're taking down their shields. Like, that doesn't seem like it's going to be an option. Um... So let's get the breach bomb going there for a moment. Okay, so we, you know, one evil for another, basically, is what we traded. We are going to get the oxygen online, because that's going to be important. Uh, and then we're going to consider jumping out of here, because this is a dangerous fight, indeed. Although, oh god, oh, there's a fire. Ugh, things are going bad, but I think we should stick with this. We're, we're going to try to take out their drone control. Okay, that worked. Whoa, who's gonna die? Trico's gonna die. Well, you gotta go repair the med bay if you wanna heal up, bro. So good luck with that shit. And we're gonna get another guy in here. Doing some extra damage. They're trying to escape? What douchebags? Like, seriously. Who does that? You pick a fight that I didn't even wanna fight, and then you decide, oh, I wanna piece it. We're going to heal him up just a bit. We're going to keep oxygen offline for just a moment and put it back online, just to be sure. Um, we have the breach bomb ready and get willing to go whenever it needs to be up. Uh, and they want to give us... No, fuck that. We're not accepting surrender at all, son. You guys are going down! 
boy! I'm sorry for that. That, uh... Slightly gangster outburst. Uh, that's, uh, coincidentally the name of my new hip-hop group. Uh, Slightly Gangster Outburst. And, uh, then we're gonna need to heal up everybody. Because everybody is hurt. So might as well get you in there, AJ Hager. Uh, and you two can get in there. Zeramar would be ready to go in just a moment. As soon as AJ's all healed up. Trico's good. So we'll get you back in the old shields room and get another pilot going. And then we can jump on out of here. Um, question is, where do we go? I guess we could kind of loop around a bit. Try to get more nebulous sectors. Okay. They're powering up their FTL drive, and okay, so we're gonna definitely power that up. Uh, the shields are not that necessary, but uh, you know they're somewhat necessary. Bio beams not necessary to power, um, and we're gonna fire everything we got over there. Okay, <clears throat> looks like we have a fire. We're gonna deal with that like so. Get another. Now nah, you're gonna stay there. I should have got the rock crew member up there, to be honest, but uh, that's that's quite a ways. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about their old uh, shitty... Oh, butt sacks. What sacks of butts? Am I right, guys? They are sacks of butts. We don't abide that on the scrote boat, my friends. And they pieced it. Great. Well, uh, you know, nothing I can do about that one. Um, and we're going to have to heal everybody up again. <laughs> Seems to be a uh, running joke on this run. Okay. So let's jump on out of here. Over here. The Rebels... Oh, god damn it. Uh, Rebel Scout. Okay. So we're going to get the Breach Bomb going there. Then we're going to get that going there. Yeah, because they're going to hit us with their lasers. And we don't want to deal with that. We are going to power down the Med Bay and power that up, however. I don't know how our breach bomb charged so quickly. It's kind of odd. Okay, well, it looks like hurting their shields only increased their power for some reason. Don't ask me how that happened. Uh, but we're going to use our last breach bomb here. And, uh, okay, so doable. But we do have to make sure that while we have the chance to hit them, uh, we're hitting them in the shields. Uh, just so that those go down. Because we just have to make sure that their shields are down and remain down. Uh, but right now, we have enough to power up two shields. Is it necessary? Not really. Okay, their shields are down, so now we can hit them in their uh, weapons room and not have to deal with that. And again, if one shield's come up, not a big deal. Uh, okay, cool. That's dealt with. Then we're going to hit them in their pilot room so that we ca they can't dodge anymore. And then we're going to hit them in their shields again just so that they can't get any more shields. Uh, cool. All kind of worked out. We haven't been able to use our bio beam in a while. But that's fine. Um, we can deal with it. We are very low on missiles, however. And by very low on, I mean we have zero missiles. Which is bad. Which is also why I don't like relying on breach bombs. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of these kinds of ships. Uh, that rely on missiles so heavily. Okay, nothing going on there. But that's fine, because now we could just kind of reassess our position here. Um, well, there's no sense in powering any of those up. So I guess we could power up the uh, teleporter. Uh, if we need to. And consider our options here. Now, can we see everything with just two slugs? I don't think so. No, we can't. Because if we put one here, he can see all of that, I think. And if we put one there, he has to... Yeah, we're not going to be able... I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to see that room. I could be totally wrong, but I don't think we're going to be able to see that room. So we're going to wait for the bio beam to charge, by the way, because we kind of have to. Because um, we kind of have no other option. We're just going to take damage here. Um, again, I don't know if I really like this kind of a ship. Okay, so it's charged. We're going to hit him in the shields and hope that both hit. Nope, they both missed, actually. So that's good. Hull damage is critical. 
Uh, our pilot room is down, but it should be up now. Okay. Oh, God damn it! I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm sorry. My idiocy has once again got the best of us. Okay, first one missed. Uh, I guess we're just going to try to get out of here, because otherwise this shit is not working out for us. Okay, come on, do lasers. Both hit, both hit. Okay, they both hit. Um, and where are they? Okay, so they're right there. Bio beam. Get working. Kill them. Okay, they, they pieced it to the med bay. Uh, we're going to turn off the dual laser for right now. And we're probably going to try to jump out of here. Yeah, probably going to try to jump out of here because they're just going to keep running back to that med bay. And there's really not much we can do about it. Yeah, we're, we're just going to jump out. There's not too much we could do about it at this point. Um, all in all, I'm not a big fan of the slug cruiser. Anything reliant on missiles, I'm not really a big fan. Now, of course, I did use our missiles poorly. I will admit that. Uh, I, I used too many in a couple of situations where it was completely unnecessary. Uh, but, okay, we got to a store, which means we could potentially survive. But we have no fuel, no missiles, no nothing. Uh, so I guess... That's all a priority. And then... This is equivalently a priority as well. Survival is kind of necessary. Uh, why don't we have enough power? Oh, because we have the crew teleporter on. Okay, cool. Alright, so now we have missiles back, but only three. And we also have, uh, fuel, but only six. So, I mean, things aren't looking great. But, uh, oh god, especially when that happens. Okay, we're gonna get the bio beam going, we're gonna get the dual lasers going. Uh, they have three levels of shields. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's not looking good, uh, right now. Oh, and they have ion weapons. And bomb weapons that do lots of damage. Uh, we're definitely gonna get our sensors back online, because it's gonna be kinda necessary. Oh, and they have a... Uh, did I mention that they had a Mark III burst laser? Um, I wanna say that this is probably our end here. Uh, especially when everything is offline. Okay, oxygen's online. Everything else is offline, however. Okay. Uh, bio beam can come off, and we can get the. Uh, we're gonna take off the bio beam and power up. We should have enough power. All oh, right. Okay. So it's all down. That's why. Okay. Get back in there. We're gonna power up the breach bomb, and we're gonna get everything firing at their uh, shields. Although I guess I could fire at their empty rooms and do a little extra damage, but I think that's not the best strategy for right now. We're just going to kind of hope to hit. And the question is, do we stay in this fight or do we try to piece it? I don't know. I mean, we have the opportunity to potentially win. Yeah, once we got past this initial part, things are pretty good. Let's, um, let's actually wait for that breach bomb to fire just in case it actually takes down. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's a shame. Okay, we unluckily managed to miss there. Uh, we're definitely going to need our shields online if we're going to do anything. And our weapons are all down? Why are our weapons not online? Why did they... Oh, we're out of fucking missiles. Alright, well now we jump out. Because <laughs> we're not going to be able to hit them. Uh, so, see you later, I guess. I forgot that that was a big issue. Okay. Um, nope, let's avoid the conflict because we can't hit them. So, no sense in doing that. Might as well get everything repaired. AJ Hager, you need to heal up, so why don't you go ahead and do that as well? Um, we're kinda in a very bad place. I don't know what I really could have done to get us out of this bad place besides better missile management. But, uh, I mean, other than that, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I uh, when you're relying on the bio beam and the missiles, I don't know. I just, I just don't like that play style so much. Relying on any kind of expendable resource is definitely not my favorite thing. Okay, so this is a doable fight. Except when they teleport, then it's less doable. Um, okay, so they're gonna come in there. Uh, let's, actually, let's leave them 
B, and then uh, we'll we'll deal with it that way. And then we'll fight them when we need to. So we'll get you in here just in case we need to get things going. But we have to get the bio beam charged before we're going to do anything. Okay, so they're going to want to go that way instead to the med bay, which they are going to have a rock surprise. Okay, we're going to close all that. Pilot rooms down. Bio beams up. Okay, so now we're going to have to hit them twice. Okay, good. Um, now we can't hit both, right? No, we can't. Okay, so we're just going to hit one. That did a lot of damage, which is good. Um, med bay is online, which is also good. We're going to turn off the burst laser because it's kind of unnecessary. We're going to turn off the bio beam as well because that's equally unnecessary. For at least right now. Uh, okay, now we can hit him again. Okay, now we can hit him again with this. That kind of hurt him. Our shields are down, however. Which means we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, and you get to the sensor room. Why? Okay, the NG is up. He's just over there. Okay. Alright. Ah, I shouldn't have fired that. Okay, we're gonna open up these doors. Oh, God. Ay, ay, ay. Things are, things are not looking good for us right now, my friends. Oh, fuck, and I had that firing. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. How do they have three crew members? Oh, right, because the other guy teleported back. Maybe we should be teleporting. I don't know. Oh, God. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna die right here pretty much right now, unless we can jump out, which, you know, maybe we can. Nope, we're dead. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, maybe we got unlucky, but I, I, I don't know. I just, I'm not a big fan of, of, uh, bio beam plus, <sighs> missile reliantness, reliantness, uh, and maybe I screwed up a lot, and that's, fair, because I probably did, but, um, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of Slug Cruiser, apparently Type 2, Type B is a little bit better, I really want to get Rock Cruiser Type B, so again, we might try to do that next time, uh, I'm not entirely sure, uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it instead, and hey, again, I just want to reiterate, go to the channel every day, uh, because YouTube is gonna fuck us over and, and not show you my videos, I'm making a video every day, that, that's just gonna happen, so, um, make sure that you are being diligent to look for them, I'm sorry that you have to do that, uh, but there's really nothing else that I can offer you besides that, um, uh, you can follow me, actually, if, if you follow me on Twitter, and again, this isn't just to get me more followers or anything, but if you follow me on Twitter, uh, which the link is in the description on every video, um, then you'll know when I upload a video. You'll see that. So uh, that that's another option. YouTube just just re retrofitted everything now and 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 made it so that uh, not only do you not see your subscriber uh, your subscriptions videos, but also it shows a recommended feed as well, which takes up half the fucking thing as well, which it already had a suggested on the sidebar. It's a lot of things that kind of are to help ch videos and channels that are already big, and I don't understand it. It doesn't really make any sense. It's not... They're trying to be TV, and they're not TV, because they're just trying to rely on big channels. Anyway, um, hopefully, besides all that, uh, thanks again to A Fish of Bread uh, for giving me those games. And you will see more of that stuff on the future. On the future. Uh, in the future. And, uh, yeah, and, and keep checking the channel, because I'm going to keep doing these... Uh, every day. That's that's what I do, man. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I said hopefully you guys enjoyed it like five times, but I really, really hope you do. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.